Rusky's Crypto Cave. We're back out in the shed. Um, temps outside are 64 degrees. Intake wall is 72. We got 84 over here on the inline fan. 73. And we got looks like 100 there up high and 94 right there on the exhaust side. Um, bottom two fans are off completely. Top two fans are the only ones running. And this time of year has been great for attempts as far as mining goes. Um, only gets better as it gets colder. Um, you should just uh, I guess probably even bang that down one with, bang, bang that down a little bit. That was maxed out there for a while. I can slow that down and and uh, save some power. But anyway, a couple things to talk about today. Uh, first one, uh, since we're looking at the S19, um, the Brains OS board was originally supposed to ship in September. Now it says Q4, so I'm not sure exactly when when I'll be seeing that. Because I was thinking about um, swapping off the AC and pretty inline fan and just putting the stock fans and stuff back on just because with all the input I have now I don't really need dedicated setup. So I was gonna pull this down and all the dedicated exhaust sides and stuff like that. I was gonna pull that stuff off and since I don't really need it. Same thing with the Idling B and K3. I'm gonna pull off that, that dedicated exhaust system. But I'm going to hold off for doing that until I get the uh, the board in so that I, I don't have to tear that thing apart multiple times. I'll just do everything all at once. Um, the other thing, oh, KS0 is the next thing we talked about. For some odd reason, both my KS0s went down at the exact same time today for about half hour. Um, I did switch pools. It took for a while to put the pick back up and eventually the Impura Miners finally did start working again, but Casper Pool was not. So I don't know if it was just it was a pool issue with Casper Pool because that's what they were on initially, and, uh, and then maybe it's fixed an issue or whatever. But I don't know. But we're still both back on Casper Pool. Um, they just kept like, like trying to restart them, restart them. I did update the firmware on both of those, so they are running newer the newer firmware that kind of more stabilizes the hash rate. Um, one thing I did notice with the firmware. No matter what you put in for the fan, fan speeds and stuff, it doesn't kick the, the other fans on. Uh, it might be kind of hard to see, but those fans are not spinning. That fan is. So I think I might pick up another uh, USB Nakua fan for this one. Because the temps are definitely higher on that one than they are there. Which we can even go look at now. Uh, let's see. I shiver. So this is the one with the fan and you can see even even the interface is a little goofy um i had cash from pull down here and i had hero miners here and then i updated it and put it back to cash from pull because i'm getting close to a payout and it still says connected but it's blank so something's goofy there the temps are 44 and 45 fan speeds are zero and even when you go over here to mining setting click that button Put the fan speed to 50 percent. Hit save. It says it succeeded. Let's go look at the fan. Still not running. Still off. So something's goofy with the OS uh, with that update. That the, it's not working. Um, and then here goes to the second one. And say the temps on this one. This is the one without the Nakua fan. Temps are 53 and 65, which those temps are much higher than they were before. So I do believe it's something with the new, that latest firmware and the, and the fans not operating the way they used to. Um, and you can't manually override them. So Ice River is going to have to fix that, or I might even just revert back to the previous firmware and just restore factory defaults and give that a whirl. Um, the other thing I was going to talk about, the initial game plan was to the power down the I-Building BMK3, and I was going to replace that with the 
Antminer X5. I did have one ordered through Coin Mining Central. For whatever reason, they ran issues into them. They weren't confident in shipping them out. Uh, so they actually offered to refund my money. So I took it. Just because they didn't know how long it was going to take. Lo and behold, it was about a week later, week and a half later, whatever it was. They're now available again. But now they're available again at $1,000 higher. So I am not buying them for $1,000 higher. Because um, even at the three grand, the price I was getting it at, it was probably about a year and a half or so break even um, on that at the three grand. Four grand just even adds more time to it. So, yeah, I'm not doing that. So, uh, they can keep the X5s. Um, it would have been cool, cool device to kind of mess around and play around with, but not at four grand. So, if I'm going to spend four grand on something, I'll put it towards like a S21 or something like that. So, but, so yeah, so I'm not getting an X5 now. It is what it is. But, no, but, actually, when I was talking about S21s, uh, speaking of S19s, that guy hit a block. Let's go see what block it hit. Which, actually, I don't know exactly what block it hit. I'm just going off of Brains OS. Sometime last night, blocks found is one. Um, it's currently on nice hash, so I don't know if that was a BTC block or if that was a Bitcoin cash block. Um, if anybody knows how I could find that out, and other than manually going through every single Bitcoin and Bitcoin cash block throughout the night to find out which which address hit it, but um, that's kind of neat. <laughs> I wish I was solo mining and it was a regular Bitcoin block, but uh, that's a lot of power to use. Essentially, 5,000 some odd watts with both my ant miners trying to hit a, a, a solo block. Luck isn't very good, so um, I'll stick to pool mining. But it would be pretty sweet though, hitting a solo Bitcoin block, I'll tell you what. Uh, that's the mini box. Or KD Box Pro, that's still powered off and probably will be, unless Kadena has a huge pump. Um, what else we got going on? Might as well give an update on the KS0 earnings. There you can see the hash rate dip uh, when the miner shut down. We're currently sitting on 336. This is the KS01. Uh, address overview. Currently sitting on the balance of 5400 Cadena with a value of 252. This one is KS02. 3000 Cadena, or they have Cadena, Casper. With a value, of, let's say, just round to 140. So, so 250 and 140. So you got 390 and then plus whatever sitting in the pool. Hmm. 16, 17% payoff between the two devices so far. Uh, so still got a long way to go uh, until they're paid off. Yeah. And uh, then we have to... Oh, hey, there we go. What happened from the opposite? I just closed that damn window, I think. Yeah, we're gonna see how the opposite solo mining is going here. I haven't checked it a little bit. Did hit a block overnight, I believe. Yeah, at 7.43 in the morning, it hit a block. And, yeah, my payout for 4,400 went out, went through. Uh, so then what I'm going to do is transfer that over to inodes and uh, add that to my, uh, to that shared, plot, shared node platform and just keep on earning more, more Neoxa. Yeah, because currently, as far as the rig goes, 3080s are still on a lithium. The two 3060 TIs, they're doing the same thing. Triple mining, Ergo, Radiant, and Zilliqa. Um, 13070 rig is on flux. This. Yeah, I believe that's the 3070 rig that's on flux. See, this is a 3070 rig that is on uh, Mini Oxa. 3060 Ti, that's triple mining. Uh, 
Oh wait, no, this is the 37 rig that's on flux. That guy is on the Oxa. And this 3070 is on uh, the Oxa as well. And the Jazz Miner that is on Octa Space. Uh, and then the 3070 TIs in the house, they are on solo mining and lithium along with the 3080s. 2070s and 2080s are on Dynex. Yeah, I forgot about those guys. These are, that's the 2080 TIs in there. Those are on Dynex along with the 2070s in the house. And. Uh, the 1660 TIs in the garage are also on uh, Niaxa, solo mine. So, that's how we're looking right now. Still have the Mini Doge. That's just original Mini Doge, not Mini Doge 2. That's just the original Mini Doge miner. I finally hit a mine up in one full Litecoin. Now it takes forever with those damn things. Um, the thinking about how much Dogecoin. It's probably a neighborhood of 2,000 Dogecoin I've mined since I have it. But it doesn't, they don't earn a whole lot, that's for sure. Uh, so that's probably not possible. You guys should probably just shut that thing down too, but I was so close wanting to do this to complete to get the full light coin out of that thing. And uh, before I turned it off. I may even look into and just switching this mine Doge coin completely or light coin completely just to speed the process up a little bit for each coin and swap it month to month. And I'll figure that out. But other than that, not much going on really until I get that Brings OS board in and I'll start tearing some stuff apart. And I'm kicking around different ideas as far as uh, how I'm going to block off that bottom row come winter time. What I'm thinking about doing is filters that are in there. Just wrapping them in, in like 30 gallon trash bags and just putting them back in. Uh, just sort of kind of blocks them off. And you know, actually, I need to get in here to shop back and clean some cobwebs up, as you can see. Uh, we we'll block that whole bottom row off at least. I don't think I'll have to block the top two rows off, but don't know until the weather starts getting real cold. Just to see how uh, see how cold it gets in here, or, or how warm it can stay in here with the miners. You know. We will see. Time will tell, so I'll figure that out when that time comes. But um, I believe, believe the first attempt is going to be just blocking off the bottom row of plastic bags around the filters and just put the filters back in instead of trying other stuff. Next step will be I have a bunch of the foam, one inch foam insulation board. Um, I'll try that if the uh, plastic bags around the filters don't work. So I have a bunch of that in the mining room in the basement I can cut up and, and then use. So, until the next one, we'll catch you later. Have a good one.